Phytotherapy is the use of plants or vegetable substances for the treatment of various symptoms and diseases, and is part of the alternative medicine. In this video, we refer to chamomile, which stands out among all medicinal plants. Chamomile belongs to the Asteraceae family. It's included in the pharmacopoeias of at least 26 countries. It's currently in great demand in European nations and its international market is growing day after day, for which it's recognized as the queen of medicinal plants. Its therapeutic use is even approved by the European Medicines Agency. For its healing properties, this plant has been used in Latin America for centuries. With what did grandmothers cure stomach aches? With chamomile tea. What did mothers give their teenage daughters for menstrual cramps? Chamomile tea, everyone knows. The active ingredients that give chamomile its many healing properties are concentrated primarily in its flowers and include flavonoids, coumarins, mucilage, vitamin C, acetylene, sesquiterpenes, and salicylic, chlorogenic, caffeic, and isobutyric acids, among others. Chamomile flowers are harvested at the beginning of the flowering, when the inflorescences aren't yet fully open and are attractive white. For conservation, they can be placed in a dry area without direct sunlight, and they can be kept dried in closed containers but shouldn't be stored for more than a year. Chamomile has anti-inflammatory, antiseptics, antispasmodics, antihistamines, tonics, digestive, sedatives, diuretics, imenagogues, carminative, and choleric properties. Chamomile is mainly used as an infusion, which is drunk as tea. For its preparation is required 1 tablespoon of dried chamomile flowers equivalent to 20 grams, 2 tablespoons of honey, and 500 milliliters of water. Boil the water for 2 minutes, add the chamomile, and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Then it's passed through a strainer, honey is added, and it's drunk at the preferred temperature. The dose is 2 to 3 cups per day. This preparation is indicated in the following situations. Crampy abdominal pain, excess intestinal gas, difficult or heavy digestions, nausea or vomiting, diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, gastritis, gallbladder problems, arthritis, gout, high cholesterol and triglycerides, insomnia and nervousness, headache and allergies. If the juice of a lemon is added to the previous preparation, in addition to the previous benefits, it will improve the patient's defenses and relieve cough, flu and discomfort from respiratory infections, especially viral ones. In addition, if two cinnamon sticks are added to the chamomile tea instead of lemon juice, its initial properties will be added to help lower high blood pressure and lower high blood glucose level in diabetics. The infusion of chamomile alone, without honey, lemon, or cinnamon, can be used externally as fomentation or drops in infections or ocular processes. For fomenting, the infusion is allowed to cool, strain, and pure into cotton pads with which repeated touches will be applied to the eyelids for 10 to 15 minutes. Disorders that can be treated with pads or drops include baggy eyes, tired eyes, styes, and conjunctivitis, but shouldn't be given in cases of allergic conjunctivitis or hay fever. On the other hand, for a stuffy nose due to inflammation of the nasal mucosa, three drops of the infusion are applied to both nostrils every three to four hours. The infusion can be also used in fomentation on the skin applied for 15 minutes in causes of allergies, blister, dermatitis, pimples, cuts, and wounds. In toothaches and sore gums, as well as to reduce inflammation in the mouth, gargles and cold mouthwashes can be made with the infusion as many times a day as desired. On the other hand, an enema is a colon cleansing technique. It consists of introducing the infusion of chamomile at a warm temperature into the intestine through the rectum. Enema bags, which include an applicator, are purchased at the pharmacy. They are used in intestinal infections and parasitosis mainly. In hemorrhoids, the infusion is used to perform seeds baths 
two to three times a day. Chamomile can also be made into an oil and is useful for swollen feet, muscle aches, and joint discomfort due to rheumatic problems. For its preparation are required 100 grams of dried chamomile flowers and 500 milliliters of olive oil. The chamomile is placed in a jar with the oil to let it macerate. The bottle should be shaken five times a day for six days. After the sixth day, the bottle is left untouched for 24 hours in order to separate the oil from the flowers. The resulting liquid is kept in a dark and well-closed container and is ready to be applied to the affected areas using gentle friction for 10 to 15 minutes daily. Even when there are medications to treat the conditions described above, chamomile is an excellent option for those who prefer natural treatments. The consumption of medicinal plants has been increasing in recent years throughout the world, and their use is frequent even in combination with allopathic medicines. In addition to its therapeutic usefulness, chamomile is used in perfumery, cosmetic creams, hair preparations, skin lotions, toothpastes, and also to flavor liqueurs such as vermouth. It's also used in jams, sweets, ice cream, chewing gum, and in the candy industry in general. The most common use of chamomile for hair is to be a powerful lightener. Its natural golden tints are great for giving blonde tones and making hair lighter. Finally, chamomile provides a sweet and delicate tip, so it can be consumed not only for therapeutic use, but also to delight the palate. Caution! Chamomile can increase the effects of anticoagulants, so patients who are being treated with them should consult their doctor before consuming it. For their part, people allergic to pollen should also take it with caution. Finally, even though it was common practice in the past, it's currently not recommended to administer any type of infusion in children under six months, including chamomile. Well, as you have seen, it's advisable to always have chamomile at home, but like any product for human consumption, you have to keep in mind its contraindications. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye.